everyone, my name is William Hathaway. I'm on the campus of Seton Hall University. Today was the 2023-24 opening media day. And we got to spoke to Coach Sheenie Holloway with his press conference. And we spoke to multiple players. We asked him many questions. Um, one of the questions I asked, what is your perspective on the Seton Hall season? So Sheenie Holloway, his first year as Seton Hall head coach, 17 and 16 season, is looking to regroup and regain establishment of the Seton Hall University Basketball Pirates. So this year, uh, Seton Hall is going to be opening up with an exhibition game on the campus of NJIT uh, with Coach Grant Vilgemeyer. My name is William Hathaway. I'm, in, I'm on the campus of Seton Hall University, and today is media day. Get as many fans to the charity game as possible. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I know yesterday, I think the first day came, the tickets was out for the yesterday morning. Um, but you know, NGIT is running it, so you know, they're in charge. I, um, having a game down there, I wanted to help right out. Um, I know that you know, it's a beautiful building. Um, well, it's kind of one of people to show it. And then for him, he's never going to have a biggie school in his building ever again. So it's, it's good Can to we do. expect to play him in the regular season moving forward? You gotta ask him. You know, I already asked. You gotta ask him. That's something that you know I've been asking. Yeah, he's told me. Yeah, you gotta talk to him about that. Give him an open invitation. Nope. Yeah, Coach. Give, hello. How are you? Um, What's going on? Can you give me your perspective and outlook for, for the season? I understand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a loaded question. Um, as far as what? Um, you know, as far as. The lineup, you know, your, your the Big East games that you're playing, you know what I mean? You're trying to get me in trouble with the Big East games, right? Um, <laughs> no, it's, I, no I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it. You know, God's working extremely hard. Um, he's just trying to get healthy right now. Um, I'm sure everybody in the country is going through this, this kind of bug right now with the guys being out. Um, just, just trying to get healthy, just trying to get these guys um, on the same <coughs> page and playing together. Um, we got a lot of new guys. Um, I stated before, you know, I love this team off the court so far. You know, they, they've been great. Now I'm just trying to get them on the court at the, all at the same time and playing. Um, as far as I look, I mean, the, the goal is the goal, right? The, the goal is to try to win as many games as possible, you know, play a certain way, um, represent the school well, the community well, um, and, and make uh, the Rock a tough place to play for guys, for teams, <coughs> the best home court advantage. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Good to see you. Um, okay. with Kadari, what are your expectations for Kadari this year? I know you said you felt the backcourt was being disrespected. Um, yeah, I seen, I seen your article yesterday. Yeah, Jeez. <laughs> big, said, big headlines. Coach. said it a week ago. Jeez. I, I, got, I got in trouble for posting a week after you said it. But uh, what are your expectations health-wise for Kadari and leadership, you know, playing-wise? Um, I think we start from a leadership standpoint. Uh, I think he's done a great job of, of – I don't, like I told him, I don't want him to change, but adjusting who he, who, like who he is, right? Um, he's talking more, he's more of a leader. Um, uh, you know, he's doing like, even some little like call the little thing with Cook's Corner, right? That just show a different side of him and who he is. And, you know, people don't know that style of him, um, right? And it's, it's helping him on the court, right? He's helping him be more and more of a leader. Um, older guy who's been in college for a while, who's being a mentor to some of these younger guys. Um, and just, just being the coach on the court. You know, I think those things are going to help him because now he's not worried about him right now. Now he's worried about everybody else. Yeah. So now you don't get caught up in your individual stuff. Right? You get caught up in the team stuff. Um, and, and far from a basketball standpoint, I, I'm hoping, I expect him to have a great year. You know, I expect him to be one of the better players in the conference. Um, and I think if he is, then I think that we're going to have a good, good year. How important is it that he stays healthy? I mean, he's, he's had health issues the past couple of years. I think it's, it's, it's super important. It's, it's, first of all, it's important to him, right? Yeah. To, for him and his career. It's a point for us, you know. He's an all league player, um, so for him staying healthy, I think if if he don't get hurt, I think we in the NCAA tournament last year. Okay. Sean, uh, what do you think of your newcomers so far? What has stood out? Uh, you want to give us a little rundown of the new guys? Yeah, freshmen. Been... Freshmen kind of hit, hit the freshmen kind of hit the wall a little bit, right? Already, um, little knickknack injuries, nothing, nothing, you know, serious, but. Um, Isaiah has been out a while with a, a great uh, sore groin. Um, so is Malachi. Um, 
I feel I feel awful for our big guy, Arda, the Turkish guy. He's 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 been here a month. He had a broken nose and a high ankle sprain. You know, <laughs> welcome to America, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but now you know he uh, but but everybody is just, is just playing. And, and Dave, Dave took back. Uh, he's still coming back off injury. We still got we're still trying to get him back. Um, but you know they're working hard. They try their best. That's all I ask. Um, as far as the older guys, you know, uh, just trying to get guys to be consistent, right? Uh, like a guy like like Dylan, you know, who's, you know, he has a bigger role here than he had at St. John. Just trying to make sure he understand that and, you know, play to his capabilities. I think he could be really good for us. Uh, I love what our two big guys are doing. You know, JB and, and uh, Isaiah. I mean, uh, Elijah. The guys are banging every day in practice, getting each other better. I see a big jump from when he, when I got them in June, July to now. A big jump, so I'm extremely happy about that. Want them to continue to keep building. Uh, Sada, want them to continue to keep, keep building. Um, and then, you know, my three captains, they, they, they got to play hard and play well every night for us to be successful. Hope I ain't missing anybody. You're good. In between Joe and Brian? Yeah. yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Yeah, good. Uh, coach, the roster went through a major. Oh, Jaquan Sanders. That's what I missed. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Stacks. Um, you know, he was he's playing really well. Um, he went down last week with an ankle injury. Um, so he's finding his way back from that. Uh, he's he's going to be out for a couple of weeks with that. But, uh, um, you know, he's a guy that we're looking forward to make a big jump this year. In between Joe Brown. Yeah. Uh, Coach, the roster had a major overhaul this offseason. You got eight new guys in. What's the culture, what's the identity of this team going to be going into year two? The same, the same. Nothing changed. Trying to you know, be the hardest working team. Um, I want when teams play us saying, wow, I want to play that team again. Um, obviously, our defense is who we are. Uh, so we got, we putting that in. I think this team is a better offensive team than we had last year. I got some guys that can, that can really shoot the, the basketball. Um, just just putting it together, right? Just, just trying to mesh everybody together and try to get the best out of everybody and make sure there's one common goal. Everybody's doing what they do to help the team win. Shai, you've coached against Dylan two places for the last three years. Did that give you a different perspective when you went in the portal and evaluated him further? Um, I just looked at him, right? I, I actually recruited him out of high school, right? Uh, when I was at St. Peter's. Uh, he's just somebody that fit who I am, right? Uh, from a, a defensive standpoint, from a toughness standpoint, and he can shoot the basketball. So he, you bring those things in, and he's a good kid. You know, he's been on the team, and. It's documented. I know Jerry did an article on him. He's, he's been taking stack Jaquan Center under his wing and taking care of him. Um, and that's what I'm looking for, him to come in. And he's helped Kadari out. You know, he's helped Al out. You know, he's been that guy that, that, that's been a good, a good piece for us. Shaw, um, three or four new bigs on this roster. You mentioned Jaden and Elijah a little bit ago. Yeah. What, what are they bringing to your team right now that you didn't have a season ago? Uh, like Jaden, like J, like JB just bring a physical, a physical, you know, presence. Then we have last year. I thought Tyrese was more of a finesse guy. All right, he, he played really well for us last year, so I'm not taking nothing away from Tyrese. Um, JB just kind of bring an old school, you know, Big East player. I think I referenced before, like Jake Bosco, like that type of big. That's not very athletic, but you know, plays you know extremely well. Good defense, um, physical, um, good screens, you know, offensive rebound, score around the basket. Play with energy, you know. So I'm really happy about that. And then Elijah just—he's more skilled. Right? He, he can shoot from the outside. Um, we begin this back to the basket game better. Um, now he's playing with a with a chip on his shoulder and toughness because of JB. Right? And then you add Arda and the, the young freshman, who's you know who's been battling. Like I've been plenty surprised with him. Um, I think it will give us more than I thought. Elijah being from Orange, did that help you a lot? I have to imagine when you were recruiting in the portal, talking to him, getting to come home. Yeah, but also I think I like what he did at Austin P. You know, he had good numbers there. Um, he, he's somebody that you know a lot of schools was after, so we was happy to get him. And obviously, being a hometown kid helped for sure. Jim uh, I mean, coach, what's what's so different here too? Your first full year here now, and uh, you know, going into year two, what's what's so different in practice and just you know, going into the year? Well, I think it's different. I just got a chance to breathe for a second. I, I think last year when I got the job, it was like a whirlwind. Everything was going 100 miles per hour. Um, you know, got got the job in, in April, and you know it was four scholarship guys on, on 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 the roster, trying to fill the roster. And then you know, just trying to you know establish who I am, you know, and, and who and what I'm about with the team. 
right? Um, and now this year, I got, the summer was good for us. You know, I thought we had a summer, I had 10 guys that was healthy, that, that was playing, that got, to, that got to know my system, you know, better. Um, and then I, I think we had, like, better leadership this year, for sure. So I, I would say just, you know, being here for a year, I got a chance to really calm down, settle down, and, you know, now I have everything going on 100 miles per hour. And about that leadership, what led you to name captain as opposed to last year? Why the three captains? They, they earned it. They earned it. You know, they earned it all, all this summer. You know, those three guys were here every single day, putting the work in, you know, being, being loud, being, being leaders, you know, leading, uh, on and off the court. So they earned it. I didn't give them anything. They earned it. I, I, I don't give things away. You got, you got to earn it on my team. Matt Laughlin. Sean, perhaps you answered it a bit when you said you have a better shooting team, you think, this year. But what areas did you identify that Seton Hall had to be better at entering this year? And, and how did you address them, and what will the result be? Well, I thought, you know, going out getting three big guys, you know, last year I thought we just had Tyrese. And I was playing Casey 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, at the five, which wasn't fair to him, not in this league, <laughs> you know. Um, so that, being you know, that, um, from a shooting standpoint, when I got Dylan, go shoot the basketball. Um, DT, you know, David Beck could shoot, Solid could shoot. Um, Stack could play a bigger role, he could shoot the basketball. I was even know Al could shoot, shoot the ball, right? Um, Malak could shoot. So I, I just wanted a better shooting team. Although last year we, we couldn't shoot the ball well, and it kind of hurt us offensively. Um, and I want to get more size in depth. You know, I think, you know, bringing three big guys in, Sadi 6'11", Dave Tebeck is 6'8", you know, you're bringing some size in now. Now we're a little deeper, you know, on, on, on the, in the front court. Then the back court as well. You know, just in case someone goes down to injury, you're not missing too much. A few more, Michael in the back. Coach, you went 17-16 last season. You had uh, six games. 17-16. Um, <laughs> you had six games that were five point loss, uh, five points or less losses. How do you go into this year with flipping the script and instead of those six losses becoming six wins? Leadership, experience, right? I think that was one of the things I wanted to get in the, in the, in the portal. Experience, right? You go, you go get a guy like Dylan who plays, who played, uh, you know, two years of, three years, two years, three years. two years of, of, of Big East basketball, right? And the, the best league in the country, right? You got my guys now. You know they know what to expect. They know what, what I want. Um, I know who they are now. I know who to go to at the end of the game. I know who could do what. Last year we kind of trying to figure all that stuff out on the fly, right? Um, and then you guys, like I said, we got some guys that can make some shots. You know, and then not, you know obviously free throws. You know we we lost some game with free throws. Um, we shooting the ball well from the free throw line. You know putting a lot of in, a lot into that. Um, and just um, like I said, having more depth. I think it helps for sure. Jason? Coach, you were talking about going into last year personally, it was a whirlwind. Uh, I remember this time last year at Media Day, you kind of weren't able to get a lot of on court time with your guys. You had a lot of injuries. What are the differences coming into this year? Have you been able to get more time uh, in practice, more time to, uh, to kind of get used to your team on the court? I thought we had a good summer. Right? I thought you know, we had uh, 10 guys that was helping off the summer. We had a good, good summer. Um, since school came back, it's, it's kind of been some. No, I kind of jinxed myself. You know, the last, the last aqua I did, I think with Jerry or Adam, we was, everybody was healthy and everything was great. You know, since then it's, it's been not good. Right? Um, but we we we, we fighting, man. You know, we, we fighting through it. Um, guys are fighting. Guys are uh, coming back from whether it's you know being ill or coming from injuries, and we kind of put it together. Um, it's gonna take some time, but like I said, I'm happy with where we are because I think. You know, the teams that the best together team wins, and for it ain't even close. We more together this year than we was last year. Last one in the back, Bobby. Coach, can you explain to us uh, how the transfer portal works? Is it like buying a car? Is there like a list? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's the what reaction? What's it like? I mean, we're all pretty curious about that. That's a good question. Um, what it's like now is way different now than it ever was. Yeah, the way it is now. It seems um, like it's like wild. Well, I think, you know, you know obviously. You know, Naaman was likely to play a big role in that, right? Um, and and I, um, I mean, you know, it's it's the things I want to say I can't say about it. Um, it's tough, right? It's it's you know you got to get guys that kind of fit who you are and what you're about, right? Um, you can't just go out and try to get the best guys in the portal because you know that's 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 not realistic. It's not life, especially with name image like this. You know, every, everybody want to get paid. I'll be honest with you guys. Everybody want to want to get paid. You know, everybody want you know, you know, to to go somewhere where it's 
it's not fit no more. It's kind of, you know, you know, how much can you, can you pay me? All right. Uh, so it's the wild, wild west. Is what it is. What it is to be totally honest with you. Uh, I'm, I got lucky. I got some guys that I wanted. I uh, missed out some guys I wanted to, but I got, you know, guys I wanted um, in it. Um, it's hard to explain. You know, it's, just, it's, it's, it's free agency. And that's what it is. It's free agency. Right? You, you know, guys uh, you know, have the, the one-time transfer portal, or, or you got the grad, the, the grad transfers, which they could uh, kind of go how many times they, they want, right? Uh, and you got to try to get, get lucky, man. At the end of the day, you got to get lucky. Now, I only have a lot to say about it because I'm not a big fan of it. If that makes sense. I know it's, it's, it's the way the world right now is college basketball, um, but it's, it's tough. It is. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Sean. How are you doing? What's up, Coach? Give me your feelings about the upcoming season. Um, I think it's going to be good as long as everybody that's in the gym just keeps believing in each other, believing what Coach Holly is preaching, and we'll be fine. Good. How do you feel health-wise from last season with your back and everything? I feel good. I'm just glad to be back out there competing at a high level day in and day out. He said he thinks you guys would have made the NCAA tournament if you were healthy last year. Do you, do you feel that way? I feel like we were on a good stretch until I went down. Yeah. And what about this year? Is it, if you can stay healthy the whole year, how good can the team be? For me being healthy, I like our chances a lot. What do you think about the new additions, especially Dylan and the front court guys? Um, I think Dylan helps us in a variety of ways. He can shoot, he's hard nosed, plays hard, doesn't take things for granted. Every possession you know what you're getting out of him. So I think he's gonna help. And the young guys, they're coming along better than we expected around this time of year. So I think everybody plays a big role. Our two big men, uh, Big J and uh, Elijah, they've been battling day in, day out, taking care of business. So I like our chances. Uh, and touch on the small little things. I guess we keys in on more. Has it been, uh, you know, c competing against some of these guys in uh, the last couple of years, and now being teammates yeah. with them? Uh, How is it? Yeah. Oh, it's been great. Uh, getting actually know these guys off the court mm -hmm. uh, also helps uh, with our camaraderie and like chemistry on the court. Sean mentioned he recruited you out of high school. Is he, 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 he kind of uh, kept up that relationship throughout because he's competed against you several times? Yeah, yeah. So these guys, what are you trying to do? You feel that it's possible type of games you've got against the practice for three years. How's it going to feel competing, competing against Posh this time in games you've got against the practice for three years? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, that's my boy. Uh, that's my teammate. my teammate. Uh, wish him the best of luck. Uh, it should be a fun season. How's the summer gone for uh, just collectively and you individually? Oh, uh, it's been great. Uh, it's been great. Everybody stepped in there and we all like, came together and we all have the same goal, which is to win. And I feel like each and every guy brings it each and every day. Can you say your name for the camera? Uh, Dylan Day was uh, Hey, Pi Dylan, how are you? My name is William Hackman with the local talk New York. Um, which, what, what is your outlook for the season? Uh, outlook for the season? Uh, to win. To win uh, big time. That's, that's what's most important right now. So when Coach Howie talked to you about, talked to you about your so conference, the type of player you are, your hard so work, you're a lot better. You're, you know, uh, you came from the transfer quarter, I believe. His main thing is transfer quarter. The transfer yeah. Yeah. yeah, I came out the Yeah, how do you feel about that? Coming from um, coming to see Bill, playing for Seton Hall. How do I? I I'm not understanding the question. Um, how do you feel about scoring, playing for Seton Hall? I feel good. Uh, that was my decision I made uh, with my family and my, uh, my, my close oh, yeah. And I'm here now and I'm enjoying the process. Um, How could you reach that high? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Just jumped and tried to go for the layup. He was there. And how do you feel like my guy, though? What's going to be different from the way you played last year to the way you played this year? Play 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 I think we're going to be like more fast. I mean, you individually. Me individually, 
um, it's more aggressive. Um, last year was just um, me trying to, you know, like get a feel of, you know, how, how Coach Shaw, you know, coaches and how to play under that. And I think this year is going to be a lot different with just me being more aggressive, um, me making a lot of reads, me being, you know, being more vocal. Uh, it sounds like he has confidence in you to play both guard spots this year. Oh yeah, I mean, na naturally I was a you know a point guard, so uh, it's easy for me to bring the ball up. I just, you know, last year I was just getting at, uh, just trying to figure things out, but um, you got you got to figure it out this year. So now, how important is it for Kadari to be healthy and on the floor for the whole season? Um, very important. We need everybody. Um, you're gonna use every every guy out there. Uh, you just need you need everybody to, to, uh, to go where we want to go. Yeah. You know, to win a lot of these games, so it's gonna be very important. I mean, when you lost him in February last year, coach said you could have made the NCAA tournament if he was healthy. Do you feel that? Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. You know, like I said, we need everybody, and um, when we have everybody, that's when we have our strongest. So. What what is how is he different this year? Is he a lot more vocal out there? Or? Yeah, he's, uh, he's always been vocal. Um, I think the main the main thing is is that he's trying to you know, keep keep at it at being healthy, and he's doing a good job of that. Just tell me whatever you want to tell me. So introduce yourself and hey, what's uh, My name is Isaiah Coleman. Um, incoming freshman at Seton Hall. Uh, just looking forward to winning this year. What school you came from? I came from Word of God Christian, up in North Carolina, Riley. Oh, yeah, long way from home. <laughs> yeah, long way. So how do you like New Jersey? I mean, I'm liking it so far. I haven't really got out and really did anything yet. I really stayed to myself, really. I love being in the gym, that's it. Okay. What's your name? Isaiah Coleman. Thank you, Isaiah. Yes, ma'am. I kind of had an idea of what we liked and what we didn't like. Um, being able to take those things that um, you know, worked last year and we started to this year's team and then things that didn't work for this year. Last year, obviously, we were trying to um, negate from those things. But um, I think there's a different feel. Um, a lot more togetherness, um, camaraderie. Obviously, you know, uh, Shaw actually got a chance to really get the feel for it. Um, you know, the guys that are here this year, you know, things kind of happened a lot fast last year. Uh, I think you really got a feel for the guys that, you know, really want to be here for the right reasons. And, um, I feel like that shows on the court. I, I would suspect it was a learning process on both ends. He got to know you guys, you had to get to know him and shows who are here, or as you said, more his guys. For sure, I would say that. And, you know, even the new guys, I would say it's his guys too. What are your goals for this year, personally? Be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet. Where is Seton Hall rank in the Big East, do you feel? I feel like we're one of the best teams in the Big East. I'm not saying that it's because you're a story ass, but I feel that way. I feel like you know, we put in the work. Um, every day we come in competing against each other, and I feel like that work's going to show. What, what is the talent level that gives you that feeling that you'll be among the top? Um, it's not even more so about the talent, it's more so about the hard work of people. I feel like that's bigger than the talent, you know. I feel like we come in each day, uh, come in and compete. Uh, I feel like that competitive edge, taking us much further than any talent could. Take some teams by surprise, you think? For sure, for sure. Dre, you've been one of the veteran leaders on this team now, having been with Shaw for a year. How much different is it coming in this season, knowing what you're going to get going into practice? How much does that help the team? I think it helps a lot. Like I said, um, just that experience, the knowledge, knowing what to expect, um, knowing what is his goals, knowing what um, you know he's looking for. I think that's just the expectations, the knowledge, and all that experience. I think that's a huge piece that um, you know obviously I missed last year. That I think we can provide to the, for this team, for myself, for our play this year. And with the front court having changed around you, you one of the few constants that are still back. How much has that? helped you grow into being more of a leader with the new guys coming in? No, I had to. Um, obviously, it's a new system for guys. You know, we still have a lot of older guys, so we're able to pick up things fast. But even for the younger guys that are here, um, you know, this is a very new team. You know, I kind of had to step into that leadership role, just being here, having the knowledge, having the, you know, like I said, the experience, the expectation of what y'all was expecting. Um, kind of had to be that leader. Does the addition? Say your name for the camera. Say my name? Yeah. Oh, Jaden. Where are you from? Toronto. 
How, uh, your first year in the season or senior? What's your? I'm a fifth year grad transfer. Okay, so you're a veteran. Veteran, yeah. So, what are your expectations of the season with your new players? Just to be hungry on the defensive end, you know, win a lot of games and get to the tournament. That's my whole team goal with this. It's my last year, right? So, <laughs> it's really trying to get to that tournament if you want to be there. Yeah, I hope you get there too. Appreciate it. Bye. Um, defense, that was the main thing. Like, they know I could put the ball in the hole, which is mainly about the defensive end and just helping my team. Coach Shah is a def defensive guy, so I know how, how much it meant to him being a defensive end. So me and him speaking this summer about how he was going to work on defense. I came in the summer with a chip on my shoulders, ready to learn, willing and all. So that's what I did this summer. And I, that's helping me out right now. So People say defense is all about effort. Is there more to it than that? Um, just knowing where you gotta be on the right, like on the floor and things like that. But also you could be right. Um, just speaking of shot, it really, it really did help me defensive. He telling me like coming in here every morning, working out with the guys in the summer. Um, just telling me about my defense and that helped me. So. Sounds like you have a pretty special relationship. With yeah. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. To understand him. Um, him from being from California is different, but me and him just just talking to him, just getting comfortable with him. We we had there some things that we had more in common, so just getting a chance to just know him. Then to Arda, being from Turkey, where he's not from here, just just talking to him, just continue to understand him, understand his game, and everything. So that's just the one thing I'll say about our days. We I'll say we just try to push each other more than anything else. Um, that's the one thing we always kept to each other. Like, hey, even if we not, if things is not going well for us today, just play hard, keep continuing to push each other, just talk to each other. That's just the main thing that's for us. And are those kind of the main messages you get in practice? I know you said um, uh, Coach Shaw doesn't really sugarcoat anything. He keeps it honest. How intense are the practices with him? Very intense, very intense, and that's a good thing. You want to be very intense because you know, practice is harder than games. If you get throughout practice, you're going to get out throughout the game, and that's a good thing. Uh, with Shaw, he's going to keep it intense. we got to keep it intense. We just can't. Because if one person's not um, pushing the other person, that's a loss for the other person because you gotta keep each other, you gotta keep going at each other, and that's, that's how you make each other better. Thank you. Yeah. Just making sure that, you know, the team, the team is doing what they're supposed to do, you know, being a leader um, on the court, and, you know, just. Just making sure that everybody's in the right spot. What kind of game are you bringing to the, to the Pirates? Like, what was your special thing in high school? What was your thing you did the best? Um, I wouldn't say, you know, I'd say I'm a jack of all trades, you know? Like, but if I had to pick one thing, I'd definitely say, like, I bring a high IQ and I can, def I can shoot the ball. Did it help have a point guard as a head coach coming in? Still, yeah, definitely, you know, definitely you know, Excellent. Coach, Thank you. Give me your feel and your perspective about coming to Seton Hall and your goals for the upcoming season. The goal is definitely win, win a lot of games. You know, we want to make it to the national championship. That's 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 the goal. So, um, personal goals, you know, just go out there, play, play hard. You know, I don't really have personal goals. It's just for me. It's just about the team. You know, I just you know, I want to win. Why did you choose Seton Hall? Um, I chose Seton Hall because. Coach Holloway, he's a he's an exceptional coach and also an exceptional point guard, you know. And I would love to follow in his footsteps. Uh, also, you know, at Senior Hall, it's just nothing but a brotherhood, you know. Everything is just it's just a big family, nothing but really. Have a position. How would you describe your position? Oh, for now I'm playing for. Like, yeah, but like, you just let me out there, just play, like, be free to play. That's what he told me. What do you think of the physicality you've seen so far since you've been here? Yeah, it feels good. Like, I would've been through all my life, but like, like there's not like nothing changed, like, that's basketball. Right. Who did you know, like, what was your connection here? Uh, basically, I didn't even know but nobody, like, you know, but when I come here, my visit, and I like the way the coach was talking about, like, I have a professor, I talked to him in the car, and I see like he played the league before, and the one I want to go, it's like that's the best thing for me. What's it like practicing against the other big guys, Jaden and uh, Elijah? 
Oh, being great, great, yeah, it's great. Like they play hard, they compete all the time. Do you guys feel you'll kind of be like a three-headed monster, like three big men all contributing? Yeah, yeah, for that. They have one more big man. Like, uh, like <laughs> we got four big men. Agda. Yeah. He's hurt though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's back with him. So how how are you guys all different? Uh, three or four. Uh, basically, I play a four, like now I play a four. I play three, four, and most like I go with Dre, like in defense, me and Dre go each other. Uh, what about the physicality? The Big East Conference is very physical play. Do you feel you're ready for that? Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been waiting for that. Like, it's a basketball. Like, I like to compete. You know, I want to like, if you're ready to play, it's not like, you know, we got to. Everybody got two hands over there. You have to go like fight. Everybody got two what? Two hands. Like yeah. basically, like nobody can be in scale because most, most physical nobody. Like just fight the basketball. Do you think the Big East will be more physical than Boise State? I mean, what was it like at Boise State? Yeah, for sure. I think for sure <laughs> they got they got they got players here too. I think for sure it'll be more physical. Can you profile your game for the fans that haven't seen it yet? Yeah, but like basically I can do everything. I can like dribble, pass, shooting, and yeah, play defense. You got one to all to four. It's, it's, it's a big difference. Um, and, um, you watch the games live or the more you uh, watch them recorded? No, no, no. The game is, um, the game is late. Like the different time is different. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Here, like, the game is around like uh, 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock. The fair will be like early in the morning, okay. so it's, it's really different. Is there any NBA player you, you play like or somebody you bottle after? Your NBA? Uh, I would say um, Jimmy Butler, Paul George. Okay, about the same size, right? Yeah. Excellent. I love the game. Are you getting used to uh, New York City area? Or are you getting used to being? Say it again? Are you, being, are you, are you used to uh, getting acclimated to New York City and New Jersey and whatnot? Oh yeah, um, actually, not really because I love like live like not the area. Like, you know what I'm saying? Being in New York City is kind of comfortable. Yeah, so you're just, yeah. just far enough where it's comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. David, can you say your name for the camera? Uh, my name is David Tuwek. What position do you play? I play a small part. It's for season, senior, junior? Freshman. Freshman. So where are you from, David? I'm from South Sudan. South? South Sudan. South Sudan. Yes, so how do you like America? <laughs> uh, America has been great. been great. It's um, been great. Okay. You like, uh, so you, uh, you like Seton Hall? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's, it's, it's my home and I feel like I made a, a good decision. You're welcome. Thank you.